das ist auch schon eine Idee. Wenn du dich dazu bringen kannst, seinen eigenen Verstärker umzustürzen, kannst du ihn vielleicht auch eine St Aha, verstehe. So, jetzt warten wir nochmal heraus. Was geht's? Ja? Yeah? I want a rematch. Oh, you got nerves, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I got the technique. Do you now? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What you say, my mother? Try not to leave any scars, baby. Not wrong. Genau, so, da muss es auch hochgehen. Der Hüpfer. Hm? So gewinnt man. Martin McFly. That was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and... <laughs> Some guys don't. You broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble <laughs> with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. 
Detention. You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry. We're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Oh, wenn es sehr dramatisch hören würde. Oh, das sollte schlimm werden. Naja. Aber warum ist ein Stein da oben und ein Stein hier ein Zwinger? Hat er, hat er Angst? Doc, da ist er endlich. Komm in, Citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, father George, mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Was ist mit Ihnen passiert? Ich bin ein Zeitreisender. Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Okay. Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. You really should not so be. You should not so be. I swear to the time axis. You should not be the time axis. I know this is going to be hard for you to swallow, Doc, but I'm not from around here. I'm from a different timeline where Hill Valley isn't all screwed up and there aren't these crazy rules and, and my dad's not a snoop and my mom's not a drunk and, and you're my best friend in the whole space-time continuum. An old fogey like me? Your best friend? Yes! And Doc, I need you to get me back there. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes! You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. Tell me, Martin. Is your mother on the sauce again? Nicht sagen, wo ich herkomme. Lassen Sie meine Mama aus dem Spiel. Lassen Sie meine Mom aus dem Spiel. Nicht sagen, wo ich herkomme. Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Darum. Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Nine. Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It, it was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. 
Think, think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. Das ist das hier ist die Veränderung. Sie denken, ich sei verrückt, wenn sie nur wüssten. Leave me. I wish I had fabricated it. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Die Zeitung. Wir könnten denn die Zeitung zeigen. Genau. Uh, take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your map, your memory. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. A failed and misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Moment mal, mir fällt was ein. Das Notizbuch von ihm. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor, your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. See, this is my father back when he was a teenager. With your time machine, I went back to 1955 and helped him stand up to Biff. Interesting. Of course, Mr. Tannen spent most of 1955 in our juvenile rehabilitation facility, learning to control his anger. He did? No wonder my dad's still so... lame. Maybe this song will remind you of something. Tell me, Doctor, where are we going <laughs> this time? Yes, it does. It reminds me why we banned rock and roll. Wir haben die komplette Zeitachse. Das kann zum Beispiel noch nicht geschehen sein. See this picture? In the other timeline, I've got a girlfriend who loves me. Interesting. The subject's fantasy life also includes an imaginary girlfriend. What? Oh, great. The timeline's catching up with me. Verdammt, das können wir jetzt machen. Brauche ich Hilfe? Gib ein paar Dinge im Büro, die dir sicher dabei helfen, der Bauernaufnahme zu verzeugen. Manche der Verbindungen der Vergangenheit mögen nicht offensichtlich sein, aber sie befinden sich auf dem Tisch beim Bauer Bauern. Ich sehe, was du nicht siehst, siehst du den jungen Emmet. Ein Aquarium aus der Vergangenheit, eine Kinokarte und Verbrecherfoto von Einsteins. Okay. okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog, harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of a sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. I, uh, bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. That's aquarium. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it cleaned. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. 
Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. You know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kit Tannen, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not, incidentally, the day I caught the eye of Edmund Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? etwas ausgeruhter bist, warte auch nicht da. Warte, bis er das im Hintergrund, dass du Doc. Was? Weise darauf, wenn du das anders auf dem Foto hin, finde heraus, was Fragen hat. Warte, wer ist das im Hintergrund? Ey, aber egal, das ist der jetzt. Na, okay. I think it is. What? It's me and you, the other you. It is me! And you! But how? Michael? It's impossible! No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe... My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc. Kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Ich weiß noch, mit welchen Beweisen von unserem Vater brauchen wir.